this is Robert. Um, today you get a lesson on my day off, so that means you get a cutoff shirt and some swim trunks. So, um, no dress code around here for videos. But anyways, I figured I'd do a little acoustic video for you. Um, I'm demoing this one. You'll see this full demo of this guitar later. Extremely nice guitar. It is an Alvarez Yari. Um, if you don't know anything about them, really check them out. Uh, really, you know, beautiful guitars. And to me, I've, I've played, you know, Doves and Martins and Taylors, and this thing just beats them all. But I'll talk more about the guitar in that other video. So anyways, I wanted to do a little video lesson on these little kind of like fills or like tie-ins that we put in between chords. So we're going to take a real simple chord progression, just a 1-4-5. We're just going to do a G major to a C9. Technically not a C9, but for us rock people it's a C9. And then D major. So just said your, your typical 1-4-5. Now I'm going to play a rhythm without adding anything to it. And I'm going to play the rhythm again, and then I'm going to add some, like, these little flavor notes to it. And hopefully, you'll agree with me that the one that kind of has a little bit more going on, really, you know, it sounds more interesting. A little more appealing to the ears. So... some fills in between those chords now. like me, the second one was a little bit more appealing. So, and the reason that I think, like, me personally I do that is I can't sing. So, and people really don't want to hear me sitting there singing, Every rose has its own. Or anything like that. But also, just strumming some chords can get boring to people who are there to listen to you. So, you throw in those little bits and it kind of keeps the listener interested. So, what I'm doing for that is I'm actually just taking something really simple, just the G major pentatonic scale. And if you don't know what that is, I'll show it for you. It's on the low E string, it's open 3, 3 being the 3rd fret. On the A string, it's open 2. On the D, it is open 2. G, it's open 2. On the B, it is open 3. And on the high E, it is open 3. So if you're um, you know, a fellow E player, you're probably like, oh, that's the E minor pentatonic. Yeah, that's right. So a lot of scales overlap. And um, I have a video on that called Intro to Modes, so if you're more interested in how these scales are kind of inter interlocking, uh, you can kind of, you know, go check that video out. But anyways, that's the scale we're doing. So something that's really cool is usually the key of the song is the one chord, which in this case, we're starting with a G. So if you really look at a G, I'll kind of bring it a little bit closer, look at where your fingers fall, and I'm doing the four finger G, and that um, D note on the bottom. So your fingers are middle finger, third fret, low E. Index finger, 2nd fret, A string, D and G are open, ring finger goes to 3rd fret on the B, and your pinky's 3rd fret high E. Just look at it, and how many of those notes are in the G major pentatonic scale? They all are. So pretty much, if you wanted to add fills, you don't even have to move your fingers. You know, you can just pick around those chords. So what you can do to kind of take it to the next level is really in between chord changes, kind of cut the chord a little bit short to give you time to do one of those little fills. And you don't have to do anything crazy. Uh, one thing that is important is to know where your root notes are, because that kind of can bail you out of a, a bad situation. So you have a root note on the 3rd fret low E, open G, and ring finger 3rd fret high E. If you don't know what a root note is, root note is just pretty much whatever key you're playing out of. So we're playing out the key of G, so our G's are our root notes. So if I was playing a lick, I could simply end on a root note every time if I wanted to, and it would sound good. You know, it does kind of get a little bit monotonous on constantly ending on G's, but for starters, just try doing that. Really come up with licks and end on E notes, and a lick can be anything. Simply... 
that could be your lick. Okay, so let's do that lick there. So all I'm doing is on the D string, I'm going open, hammer on second fret, and I'm playing the G open. There's your root note. matter how you pick it, I'm, I'm hybrid picking it. Okay, so just try throwing that little lick there in between your chords. Okay, so obviously we're going to get um, a little bit more complicated than that. So let's kind of add a couple notes to it. So we're going to add this lick. And Obviously, I'm going to give you three licks, and then eventually I want you to do all three licks in between the chords, changing each lick each time. So the next lick is going to be this one. Okay, so a lot more going on here. What we're doing this time is I'm actually ending on a D note. So there are notes you can end on that aren't roots. So what I do is I go... Open A string, hammer on second fret. Open D. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to second fret on the A string. And on the G, I'm sorry, on the D, you're going to do open D, hammer on second fret, pull off to open. So. Back up to two on the A, and open D. Okay, so you can already see it's really livening up your playing quite a bit. So we got one more lick. Uh, let's see if I can come up with something a little bit cooler than that last one. Uh, let's see. So now we're just going from that D chord, and all we're going to do is simply walk down to that G. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my middle finger, 3rd fret, A string, then playing the G open, index finger, 2nd fret, A string, playing the G open, back to a G, back where we started. So there's three little licks to kind of put in there to kind of get you started. And really just sit there and come up with guitar licks out of that pentatonic scale. Anything can be a lick. There's no kind of criteria that you need to follow. Um, hopefully that helps you guys. If you would, please subscribe. If you like these, this kind of a lesson, some acoustic stuff, uh, please like the video. It kind of encourages me to what you guys like and don't like. So if you would, like the video, subscribe. And if you want to, you can like me on Facebook. Boom, link will be down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Peace out and rock on!